This presentation discusses the importance of resizing images, as well as how to resize them using mobile devices and apps, and basic image editing programs. In digital photography, resolution is the level of detail contained in an image. The higher the resolution and the richer the pixel count, the more detail and definition you'll see. PPI is pixels per inch, and this refers to display resolution on screen. How many individual pixels are displayed in one inch of a digital image? DPI, dots per inch, refers to printer resolution, the number of dots of ink on a printed image. In this class, we refer to PPI since we're sharing images on a screen. If your image is too small, when it's enlarged, you'll see the actual pixels. If the file size is too large, it takes longer time to view and download and provides unnecessary strain on everyone. This image was improperly sized for display in class at 150 by 105 PPI. You can see the actual pixels in the squares. The cutaway shows these in greater detail. On screen, this image would appear as a thumbnail when viewed at actual pixel size on screen. Magnified, you see squares with minimum information. Look at the two images on screen. The one on the left has a proper resolution for class, with a minimum of 1,200 pixels on the longest dimension. 1,500 pixels is also acceptable. The image on the right does not have enough pixels. Notice the differences, and be sure to pay close attention to this when resizing your images. Use image editing software to resize files before submitting to class. File size should be under 5 megabytes. Use the same proportion as originally taken with the camera. Save in JPEG format for both discussions and Dropbox. Always select constrained proportion when resizing. Also, rename the file for the proper assignment as indicated in the content section. An image editor is a software program used to edit or otherwise manipulate photographs. Popular image editors are Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, but these incur a monthly subscription fee. However, student discounts are available. Windows users should take advantage of the pre-installed Photos application. Mac users should take advantage of the native iOS app, Photos, which has a powerful image editor. A free alternative to these programs is GIMP, which can be downloaded to either Mac or Windows machines. You may also use other image editors, such as Google Docs and Google Photos, to resize your images. Refer to the app creator's online resources for support. The purpose of this class is to learn solid camera mechanics. Keep this in mind and avoid using apps to overdo image editing. Do use image editing programs to resize your images, make slight adjustments to color, do black and white conversions, Explore selective color in later weeks, and enhance images you make that are already technically strong. Don't use image editing programs for cropping, dramatic filters, or intense post-processing effects, applying watermarks, simulating bokeh, removing backgrounds, drastically changing your photo, or attempt to make a technically poor photo something other than what it is. Mobile devices have built-in image editors. iPhone iOS has the Photos app that allows for quality image editing. To resize, however, you need to install the free app Resize Image. Make sure you keep the aspect ratio the same when resizing. On a Samsung, the default gallery app on Galaxy phones is feature-rich. You can organize your images and even resize them. On a Google Pixel phone, the Google Camera app allows you to make edits to your image, but you need to change your camera photo resolution first in camera settings to medium resolution, or use an image editing app like Google Photos. Search your device's app store for image editors. There are many free options available. Remember, the purpose of this class is not to learn to apply filters or features from apps to improve your images. 
the purpose of this class is to learn solid camera mechanics. Keep this in mind and avoid using apps to overdo image processing and filtering.